everybody doing tonight? Great. That sea bass was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Tonight, we present International Medical Force Global Activist Award to Lincoln Park. Many, yes, many of you are aware of the band's enormous success. A Grammy winner, Lincoln Park has sold over 50 million albums worldwide with platinum album sales in 34 countries and five continents. Lincoln Park is the biggest band on Facebook with over 63 million fans and counting. Since 2000, when Lincoln Park debuted on Billboard 200, no other artist has had more top 10 singles on the alternative chart. And no other band has achieved more number one albums this century. And now, they're at work in the studio on their seventh album for Warner Brothers Records. What some of you may not know is that in 2005, Lincoln Park founded the groundbreaking organization Music for Relief in response to the Indian Ocean Tsunami. Since then, they've raised and distributed more than eight million in disaster relief worldwide. The organization has raised funds for survivors of multiple disasters across four continents, including Hurricane Katrina, the 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, and the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. In all, more than 20 natural disasters globally. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon recently recognized the group for the Download to Donate program to raise funds and awareness in the aftermath of the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Music for Release also supports environmental restoration and protection as a means of disaster risk mitigation, including the planting of over one million trees to help reduce global warming. For their passionate and steadfast dedication to responding to the world's biggest disasters, their longtime support of International Medical Corps and its first responders, and for their commitment to bringing sustainable relief to the world's most vulnerable communities, please join me in honoring Lincoln Park with the Global Activist Award. <laughs> Sometimes we all need an event to recalibrate us, to reinvigorate our commitments, and the visit with the International Medical Corps in Haiti was the one for me. It reminded me of the inception of our organization, Music for Relief. As mentioned before, Music for Relief was founded in 2004. 
Uh, my family mates up here and I uh, had been on tour in Southeast Asia playing some of our biggest shows we played at that point in the region, inspired by the people and places we visited. And we came home to see those same people and places devastated by the Indian Ocean tsunami, which killed a quarter of a million people in 14 countries. At that moment, we found a music relief to aid those who have lost everything in the wake of natural disasters and treat the causes of the disasters rather than just the effects by way of environmental protection efforts. Fast forwarding to 2010, again, my experiences in Haiti brought me face to face with that inception of our organization and the people that we set out to help. People we could not serve without the world-class hearts and minds of our partners here tonight, the heroes at an international level. Last week over the Thanksgiving holiday with my family, my wife who's here, Anna, and my kids, we were giving thanks, and I thought about the world that they will inherit and what, it, what I want it to look like. I want my children to live in a world where people don't turn their backs when a neighbor is in need, even if that neighbor lives halfway around the world. I want them to grow up in a world where they feel empowered to help others and where they have a sense of hope that they can share in times of despair. And I know that one of the inroads towards instilling that compassion is through music. Now, music is often spoken of as a universal language. And I can attest to that as a listener, as an artist. But what is often overlooked is the great context of music. The communal experience of sharing a song or a concert. And the connection created between people who know nothing about each other except that they both love the same song artist, and the deep and powerful emotion stirred up when something about a sound or a lyric tells you that you're not the only one. In that sacred context of community, it's our job as artists and leaders to shine light on the great human connection that we all have, a connection that, once you see it, you are innately compelled towards compassion. Because once you're part of the community, no matter how big, you feel no choice but to reach out your hand to help struggling members of your family. And in that spirit, in the spirit of last week, I want to again give thanks for our friends at International Medical Corps. We are grateful for your friendship, we are grateful for your support, and we are grateful you've dedicated your talents and expertise to all of those who would not have a chance without you. Thank you.